Good morning, CMS students. I've had some new arrivals for a while and I've just been so busy I haven't been able to get a video out, but I wanted to take some time to go over a few of them with you and they will be available for checkout today. Uh, one book I got is uh, Modern uh, Middle East and this is about Afghanistan. You know, we hear a lot about our troops serving in Afghanistan, coming home. Uh, so this book, if you don't understand, gives you a little bit of the chronology and the history and some of the things that have gone on in Afghanistan. So if you want to educate yourself a little bit more about Afghanistan, this would be a good book, nonfiction. I have two careers books that are sports related that I thought some of our sports enthusiasts might be interested in. This one is working in college sports. So if anyone liked sports enough that they wanted to continue that career and maybe work for a big, one of the you know top colleges, and this kind of goes into some of the responsibilities and the jobs that are available. And then you could continue doing what you love in that aspect. This one is also related to sports and it's sports broadcasting. So if you have thought of a career in broadcasting and you thought that sports is a love, then this would be one that tells you a little bit about it. They're not very long. These are in the nonfiction section. Uh, here's a fiction book, All American Boys, a novel. And I thought I would read a little bit from it. It just looks interesting. Uh, that's the sidewalk graffiti that started it all. Well, no, actually, a lady tripping over was shot at the store, making him drop a bag of chips was what started it all. Because it didn't matter what Rashad said next, that it was an accident, that he wasn't stealing. The cop just kept pounding him over and over, pummeling him into the pavement. So then Rashad, an ROTC kid with mad art skills, was absent again and again, stuck in a hospital room. Why? Because it looked like he was stealing and he was a black kid in baggy clothes. So he must have been stealing. And that's how it started. So uh, we hear a lot about police brutality. And so this novel is going to examine a lot of different issues, uh, in, including race. So that's a fiction book you might be interested in. This is Pull by Kevin Waltman. This is a sports fiction book. Derek, Derek has worked hard for the last few years getting ready for his junior basketball season. He's earned his coach's trust and his role as the starting point guard for Marion East. They've never won the Indiana State Championship, but this year the team is Derek's and Derek is really good. Major colleges work feverishly to recruit him because now that he's a junior, they can do it legally. Opponents worry when Debo steps into the court. Derek is ready to run teams off the court. If only he could get on the court and stay on it. So then we have uh, a basketball book and, and everything that goes along with the love of that sport. Here's a book by Michael Grant. And I'll let them call back in a minute. It's Mrs. Petty probably needs more coffee. It's called Front Lines and she's fighting for her country. And this is a fiction book, but what is neat about this is that it takes the perspective of World War II and what it would be like if women were allowed to be on the front lines and actually fighting and in combat. So that's an interesting viewpoint. What would it be like for women to have been a part of that historical war and for women to be in combat now? So it examines those kinds of issues. And that's Michael Grant. And, um, He's written a lot of uh, books, Hunger, uh, the Gone series. So if you like those, you might like that style. This is neat, and this is nonfiction, and this is a new examination of the Borden murders. So Lizzie Borden and the Trial of the Century. So this is going to go into um, Lizzie Borden and that grisly, uh, the grisly murders that, that happened. So... You know, it says on the back, Lizzie Borden took an axe, gave her mother 40 wax. When she saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. So it's just really kind of compelling uh, what happened with that. So if you're interested in that, this, this is a new examination of that topic. Then we also have uh, 
the new The Revenge of Seven. So this is from the I Am Number Four series. So if you've been reading that series, then we have the next installment. And this is Maximum Ride. So if you are a James Patterson fan and you've been reading this series, we have the next installment to that. Somebody had asked for it. I don't remember. So maybe you're watching this video and now you can come get it. And last, this book just looked interesting. So I was going to read a little bit from it. This is fiction. This is where it ends. Everyone has a reason to fear the boy with the gun. So this is a chronological uh, fiction book. 10 a.m. The principal of Opportunity High School finishes her speech welcoming the entire student body to a new semester and encouraging them to excel and achieve. 10.02 a.m. The students get up to leave the auditorium for their next class. 10.03, the auditorium doors won't open. 10.05 a.m., someone starts shooting. So it's told from four different perspectives over the span of 54 minutes as some, you know, it turns into a game of survival with an active shooter in the school. So that looked like an interesting book. And of course, there are several others, fiction and nonfiction. So if any of those sound great, I would encourage you to come on down and check them out. Uh, and I hope to see you soon.